Hi, this is James Glass of James Glass Company, and today we're going to talk a little bit about painting. I do a lot of custom fixtures, design, and construction. This particular fixture is a um, fixture for Ride Solutions, ridesolutions.org in Roanoke, Virginia. It is a fixture that is designed to promote um, bicycle commuting. Uh, Ride Solution goes to a lot of expos and, and events, and this fixture will have video monitors on it. Um, offering information on commuting and, and it'll, it'll be a, of course you can't see it now, it's getting ready to be painted, but I'll get a video and photos of when it's done. It's a real cool, real interesting fixture. It spins around 360, kind of cool. But this video is not about um, Ride Solutions' wonderful fixture. The video is about painting. Um, I've been painting for a little over 25 years and um, uh, I use a variety of coatings in a lot of my custom stuff. This particular fixture needs to be durable enough. It's always going to be inside, but it needs to be durable enough to be handled, so we're going to use an automotive paint. And um, we were able to find the color that we liked in the, in the bin of it at uh, uh, Thompson APB Finish Master. It's a bright green metallic. This is a, uh, an enamel. Usually I spray urethane, but we were able to get a gallon of this for $25. It requires a hardener and uh, uh, optional reduction of about 10%. The paint gets mixed in um, convenient little cups like this. They've got graduated markings on them for whatever ratio, 8 to 1 to 1, or whatever you're putting in. And the paint is applied with um, this particular paint. Most of the paint I apply in my fixtures are applied with these paint guns. This is a fantastic paint gun. It's one of the best I've used in my, I've had it about five, six years now. It's a SATA. It's a German gun. It is fantastic. We're going to be using a miniature version um, of that today. This isn't an automotive um, level. This is going to look fantastic. There's not going to be dirt in it. We're doing it here in my shop, which is still under construction. I don't even have the paint booth finished yet. But um, we can get reasonable results with this. We just have to make sure everything is clean, the paint is filtered. I've prepped this to 320 grit with an automotive primer. Um, it's, um, it's a reason of, for what it's going to be, it's going to look fantastic. If this was an actual automobile or a particularly expensive fixture, um, I'd be doing this inside a paint booth. I, I'm not going to be doing that here today. But I do need to be able to move this. Painting tubes are very hard. So I've got this, you need to be able to really get around to all sides. So I've got this in a fixture, and I've got this so that I can move this around as I need to as I paint it. So, look for the videos of the finished product. Thanks for watching this video on painting at James Glass Company.